My name is Corinne and this is Dave and we have three daughters, Isabella, Sophia, and Finley. And we met our daughters when they were born. <laughs> <laughs> when did we, how did we meet? Oh, we met, um, we met, uh, we were fighting crime one night together. Yeah, we, uh, we met like 13 or 14 years ago at a debate watching party, Bush versus Kerry. We weird. didn't know those things actually existed. But we were there. I'm Krista. Hey, I'm Brad. And we have five kids between the two of us. I have Paige and Will. Allison and Abby. And then we have little Charlotte together. And we met 10 years ago on Match.com. And we've been married eight years. Krista's trying to clear a path, head to the top of the hill. Wait, what are you doing? Are, are y'all bringing the potty back? No! Keep going. Oh yeah! Good job. Pick the potty up. So we decided a couple years ago that the Wilsons and the Wilcox families, my twin sister and I, the two families, we like to travel together, hang out together, that it would be cool to have a vacation home that was close. And so we decided to look for land and see if we could build something. And that's what we decided to do. So where, what are you doing? We, it is May 31st, 2017. We are driving back from the condo. It's been about a month, maybe about three weeks. We haven't had it rented out. The guys are wondering why we haven't been doing our jobs. It's stupid. Um, what about you? Well, I spent too many hours of my life today meeting with a flaky person who made me wait an hour and 10 minutes at the land and William had to come with me because I was scared that if this guy was um, a weirdo, he would kill me. So William was like my bodyguard. Okay, what do you have to say? It's a miracle. We have oh, the beginning no. of a road. Oh my goodness, what's today's date? No, no, June 1st. June 1st? Yeah, June 1st. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Krista, what are you doing? I'm marking out the front door of the barn doze in blue spray paint so that the road builder will know where the front door is. The front door is. And there's the stakes. Here, take your orange. Where the okay, so barn doze is going to be. Wow. Hi, guys. It is July 7th, Charlotte's birthday. And before she wakes up, I am sitting here watching with my coffee YouTube videos on plumbing because the plumber said that the plans that I provided for him weren't enough. I have to figure out how many um, inches deep the walls need to be. So I'm sitting here on YouTube trying to figure out how to take the plan that I created and how thick the walls need to be because I'm meeting with him today for him to show me. So. Hopefully I can get it right because he is supposed to lay the plumbing lines today's Friday on Monday. So wish me good luck. Today we are driving out to the land to uh, meet with the electric company. Um, we're going to have to figure out where to put our um, electricity. We are hoping that there's more progress on the road so we're excited. <laughs> I just wanted to call and let you
let you know what um, how the blue bonnet electricity meeting went. Okay. Oh, it was awesome, except I'm just so nervous about making decisions. And did you find out if they're going to uh, bury the line underneath? They're not going to bury it, so I don't know. I think maybe our electrician deals with that. So, oh, he was so nice. Okay, bye. So why did you choose to build a barn do and not a house? At first I was totally against it. I thought, oh, we don't want to have a metal building. But then Chip and Joanna Gaines did a um, fixer-upper and they had a barn dominium. And then I was like, oh, that's really cool. And I thought it would be really, really inexpensive. You had to explain to us what a barn dominium was. Yeah. Okay, so we all three are in the back and we are driving to Brenham. And <laughs> it is June 14th on a Wednesday and we're going to Brenham. Hi. We're hoping it can be done by Christmas, but sometimes dreams don't come true. Hi, my name is Will and I'm 15 and my favorite thing about the Barndo is the outdoor area. Hey, so where, tell us where we've been. We just got a washer and dryer. From a neighbor down the street. We bought a um, beg barter for Four hundred dollars for both of them. They're only three years old. What a deal! It's seven forty-eight p.m. Dave's just got home. He's tired. And I still have to work. He still has to work. He's and I haven't eaten. <laughs> and he's being such a good sport. If the barn door could be one color, I would choose purple. I want the barn door to be like pink. Sparkly on it. I could choose the color of the barn door, it would be blue. So what was the biggest hurdle? I think it was the road. We couldn't do anything until we got the road. And our road had to be a thousand feet, which is a really long road. Um, I think an road. another hurdle was um, trying to figure out where we were going to put the barn. Um, picking out a spot. I thought the spot was pretty clear. Today we went to Habitats of Humanity. Habitat of Humanity is a resale market for like furniture and that sort of stuff. They sell for a very good cause. No, I'm just kidding. They do. They, they, they do. We got a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna go around. <laughs> Okay, Brad, what are we doing? Trying to keep that mattress from falling off the roof. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me how nice people are. Nice enough to give us their mattresses for free. <laughs> King mattresses. King mattresses are expensive. And box springs. Oh my goodness. Krista is driving the golf cart, carrying Casey's golf cart. Wait, wait, it, make sure it doesn't fall. We drove it down the street. Chris's awesome neighbor gave it to us. <laughs> Our husbands are going to be so excited. Oh, be careful. We are getting our plumbing. It's so hot. Girls, what do you think about the land? Good. Are you excited? We're getting concrete tomorrow. I know. Is that cool? Yes, that is cool. What does that mean? That means that means we're that gonna means build a barn house. We're gonna build a we're gonna build a barn house. Yeah. So, Dave, why did we choose Burnham? 
Um, it's about an hour away from Houston, about an hour and a half away from Austin. Um, it's a beautiful town. I mean, it's got a lot of uh, rolling hills and good scenery and stuff like that. Uh, the downtown is developing, um, access to lots of you know, shopping, restaurants, stuff like that. So uh, it's all around a, a pretty good place. Pretty good place. This is so exciting. What's happening? We have concrete being poured. Yay! Girls, what are y'all? What are we? We told them it was like Bob the Builder. Oh, I cannot oh. believe it. that all these concrete trucks made it up this dirt road. Here, come here. What are we doing? We just got a goat cart. A goat cart. Do you know what that is? No, you know what they're they're doing? They're being exactly like Linda. <laughs> <laughs> you know you love our mom. So we have two cars full of... I want to be able to keep walking into my garage. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I want to be able to walk through there. You will. We'll make room. We'll make room. I promise. I love I'm you. I'm so excited about the goat cart. It's not a go cart. It's a goat cart. If they had goats, uh, used to pull. Are you excited about the goat cart? I thought it was a go cart. Today is August the 5th. It's very hot. We're in Brenham. We are meeting with a contractor who um, we're going to get a bid to finish out the entire inside of this project. Okay, Corinne, where are we headed? It is like 7, is it what, 7.30 in the morning. We're August, what, 17th? 17th, it's Thursday. We're headed to the land. We're excited because they're delivering our metal building. But we I thought... Know. We thought we were um, meeting up. It was going to be a few hours later, and we all stayed up too late last night. And I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> Girls, where are we going? <laughs> Driving down the road, going to get our doors. Krista's nervous. What are your thoughts? This is very, very, very stressful. I mean, it's very stressful. What's stressful? Just driving? That we're going to get these doors that are huge. And They're the front doors, right? And the side French doors. And what about the pod that we just rented? <laughs> I'm stressed about that too because I don't even know if they're going to have a place to park in. I'll work out. I just want to say that Krista did not trust. She thought she was the better doing a trailer into this small spot and so I gave her like 10 minutes and she couldn't do it. So I got in and I'm the one that figured this out. I'm so proud of myself. Go what? Me. Whatever. <laughs> I will say that backing up a trailer is one of the hardest things you can do. What are y'all doing? Am I, am I bribing you so that y'all will be good in the building supply? Yeah. Did it work? Yeah. Hi, my name is Paige and <laughs> I'm 19 and my favorite thing about the Bardo is that I like that it's peaceful and quiet in the country but also it's close to a cute little town with a lot of things to do. Yeah, do you know what's happening right now? Yes, our bongo is getting built. You know what's happening? Bondo. What's happening to the bondo? Building. They're building it. So right now, what is happening? We have our roof being put on and half of the building is up. It's so exciting. The windows look awesome. Oh, it, it's like really coming together. 
We can't believe it. We can't believe it. We're just in... Ah! Hi, my name is Abby. I'm 15 years old, and my favorite thing about the Barndo is all of the rooms and their themes. Hey, Krista, what are you doing? Final floor. So I'm trying to see. They said that one person can put this in themselves. Does it film? It feels awesome. I love it. I think it's really pretty. I love the color. Okay, girls, where are we? No. Nope. No. Are we at Lowe's? Yeah. Yeah. What are we buying? We're buying. We're buying. Paint. Paint. Hey, what are we gonna paint? We're gonna paint the furniture. And so, what are you guys doing? Um, we're gonna do some chalk painting. What are you chalk painting? Um, we're gonna paint the walls. What are you guys doing? What are you chalk painting? A dresser that's going into the condominium. A fiesta room. Um, Marguerite and Anna from Nova Scotia hooked me up, showed me how they chalk painted some furniture, and I've been chalk painting since. But it's like a recipe. It's like you yeah. don't have to buy the expensive stuff. Right. You, um, what's in it? Do you remember, Mom? Um, plaster of Paris, and, um, and water, and latex flat paint. We have That's to, it. we have to do like three layers, but um, it looks awesome. Hi, my name is Allison. I'm 17 years old, and my favorite thing about the Barndo is how suitable it is for both kids and adults. Brad, what are you doing? Oh, that looks good. Hey, Brad. Dave is building a picnic table. What are you doing? We just went to my house to pick up a bunch of furniture that we need to paint, and there's no um, room for you in the front seat. <laughs> so I'm in, I'm in the kid's baby seat, and I asked Corinne to please not um, get in her heck. And the front door won't even like all the way close, but I'm just gonna drive slow. Okay. I want this room. Uh, I just want it. So this is my room because I want it. This. This closet is too small. It needs to be bigger. This is the story of our life right now. <laughs> we can't even move in our garage. Just get, the pile just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Good job, Crystal. Thank you. Uh, hold on. Ew. Okay, what are you doing, Corinne? This might be the work like, hardest thing we've had to do so far. Um, who knew? Um, we're putting an edging around the entire barn, and um, the guy said, Oh, it's so easy, the stakes are already attached, and you just have to unattach them. But it's too hard. Um, but I'm trying to. We're trying to specialize. I said I'll do this part and Chris is gonna do another part, so maybe we'll get good at it and so it won't be as hard. Sure, sure. Your hammer. Charlotte, where are we? We're at the bottom. Are y'all having fun? Yep. What are you doing? Um, we are doing a camp out at the barn bed, even though it's not done. Um, we bought these mattresses from Walmart and they're very cool because Hi, my name is Charlotte and I'm five years old and my favorite thing at the bar though is um, all of the games.
Birthday, and we swept in the bondo. All three of us are about to go on like a morning walk. It um, we're walking on our road because it's so darn long. <laughs> Y'all are doing an excellent job. Thank you. Thank you. Painting the black shutters. Hey, what are you doing? Um, we just picked out all of our lights for the bathrooms. Um, you think that we went too traditional. I no, mean, too trendy. Too trendy, too modern, but what are those? Oh, these are for our outdoor um, fire pit area. Say Ryan and I can get up early on Saturday and go for a few hours and like while the girls are sleeping. We'll go talk with the band. Girls are sleeping on the way to Brenham. It's 7.43, it's early. We've got the trailer. Go Whoa, what's up, Charlotte? Oh, she's acting like she just woke up. Oh, faker. Look at you. No. <laughs> okay, what are y'all doing? Are... How many toilets do we have? Seven. 45 or seven? Wait, what are you do girls doing? I like taping yourselves. You're taping yourselves. Yeah. The hat is too big or something. <laughs> Tell us what you're doing. Brad went and got bees from our friends Jen and Jared. Their house, because they were <laughs> stuck in like some electricity thing. And Brad put them in this box and said, take them to the land and release them. So that's what I'm doing. We have to take them to our bee boxes, which are over there. Christmas but right now, I put them down so many times, I think they're probably angry. So I'm scared to open the little window. <laughs> what are you girls doing? We're doing bee zebra. No, ABC. Where are we? We're at BS. H-E-B. No, we're at the tile store. No, we're at Audi. Floor and decor. No, no we're, we're at... Two. We're at Aldi. We're at that ice cream place. <laughs> Can I scrape it off? Yeah. Here. What do we have today that we didn't have yesterday? I don't know. What about honey? Honey. Come show the honey from our bees. I'm having my toast and my coffee. But this morning is a little more sweeter because I get to have honey from the land for breakfast. So why do y'all have bees? Uh, other than for the honey, it's really down to one reason. It's, it saves us several thousand a year in, in uh, property taxes. It's a, about the only way you can get an ag exemption in Texas when you have less than 10 or 12 acres. We had to rent a U-Haul to pick up our cabinets because our cabinet guy that's installing is coming tomorrow and the cabinet people weren't going to deliver until Monday. So I had to bring this big U-Haul. I have to drive it to Burnham. Are you tired? I'm so tired. We've been um, loading and dumping garbage all day. I'm so tired. It is Saturday. 
It is 3.38. We are so tired. We've been to Brenham. <laughs> we went to drop the... The you all oh, oh. up in Brenham. It was closed. So we thought we we could just drop off U-Hauls anywhere. So we decided to go to Cyprus. <laughs> to our house. And the random place was like, we can't take this. <laughs> she said, how did you end up in Cyprus? <laughs> so we found a place that would take us. We are so tired. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm so, oh, I'm so overdriving this you all. You can let go. Hold this. I think he did that. What do you want me to hold? What are you doing, Isabella? Oh, I'm just out here waiting. Me a screw and my drill. Oh, wow. That's it's exciting. Very muddy. We're Do official now that we have a sign. Okay, so I thought Friday sucked. I think today is way worse. It's one of those days you just want it to be over because it's just... <sighs> we come out to the land early this morning. Our, our road that we spent so much money on is like mud. And then our tile that was supposed to be delivered, the um, delivery guy got his truck stuck. So he's been here all day long. And one thing after another. I had to go get the kids for Mother's Day out. And now we're waiting for like the road guys just delivered some more rocks because it's such a mess. And I stepped in fire ants just now. I just want this day to be over. How easy did you think the project would be and what did you envision the end product to look like? I thought it was going to be really easy. I thought we were going to buy some land. Um, once we decided the metal building, I thought we were going to just throw down um, a metal building, put it up real quick. I thought the whole process would be a few, a few months and we'd be partying in our party barn. For me, um, to be honest, I thought it was going to be really easy because I thought we were going to pay somebody to do it. So. Um, that was a surprise, but it took it took a lot longer than we thought. Yeah, it ended up looking like the way I expected it to. I mean, we are 15 days away from our self-imposed deadline, and we have lots of progress. How are you feeling right now? What, but what's coming next? The grass massage. They're at the end of so the road. This is such a mud pit. We are trying to figure out how to put together this red vanity for the kids' bathroom from Ikea. And it's got a million pieces. And it's Friday night. Dinner all day long. We're so tired. Yeah, I can believe that. And we're thankful that this is the last weekend we have to use the nasty porta potty because I almost threw up like three times today. <laughs> we are on our way to the dump for the 50,000th time. We have a million workers at our house. Um, we had uh, tilers, painters, electricians, the plumbers. plumbers. We have road people. We have us. Lots of workers. Oh, wow. It is almost eight o'clock, November 16th. We've got like six days to Thanksgiving. I'm cleaning out my dining room. I'm loading up the car, my study, all this stuff. So excited to get this stuff out of my house. I have the guest bedroom. It's full. It's packed. I've been working since like 
Oh, I've been up since 3 a.m. stressing and working. And I'm, I'm about to look, we're about to load the trailer for 5, 8, 5 30 in the morning. Here's stuff. And I realized that my Suburban has room for all that stuff. So I'm loading that. Dave hasn't even made it home from work. Poor thing. I already warned him that he's going to have to help me load this. It's almost 10 p.m. Dave got home around, what, 8 or 8.30? Yeah, I didn't finish work until 9. He just no. finished work at 9, and I needed him to <laughs> load the trailer. Our HOA says we can't have a trailer in the garage, but at this point, we're so tired, we're just going to beg for forgiveness. Dave, do you have anything positive to say? I love you. Oh, you love me? Wait, do you, do you really love me at this moment? Uh-huh. Oh, that's so sweet. What advice would you have for others that are thinking about doing something like this and would you do it again? Don't do it in the Brenham area because you'll be competing with us. <laughs> I would say um, save, save, and save for a long time because whatever you think it's going to cost, it's going to be double. And we were very thankful that we had partners to do this because had we not had partners, there's no way we could have ever done it. Okay, so we are... Oh, a week away from Thanksgiving and as you can see we still have a ton of work we have loads of trash we have piles of things we still have been a lot of workers the pot is gone which is good we're hoping the porta potty goes next we've got to bring back all this extra tile everybody's working hard it is Saturday, the Saturday before Thanksgiving, 6.30 a.m. I am driving to the Barn Doe. We only have today, Sunday, and Monday to get this place sorted. I think I'm going to work on floors, maybe bathtubs. Dave's going to head on out um, after he wakes up and gets the kids sorted. And then Krista and Brad and the kids are going to come later and spend the night. I've been sick the last couple of days. But it's like one of those things that you just have to keep plugging forward. And uh, anyway. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you? I have a water ponytail. Okay, be careful. Be careful. What, what is that? An Indian headdress. Who sent it to us? Uncle Mike. What do you say? Thank you. Dave, I'm so proud of you. This Hello. looks awesome. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the hardest, 1 being the easiest, how would you rate this project? It wasn't hard. It just took a long time. It still takes a long time. You're putting out the fire with the fire hydrant. <laughs> so glad I got this on video. Do it over here, The Skeleton oh, Firefighters. Okay. What are y'all doing? I've got a game we can play. What? Clean the bathrooms. No! I'm cleaning the... I think my fifth bathroom has been very disgusting. There's been this awful smell all day long, and we just realized it's coming from this sewage line that was open. So it's been smelling like poop all day long, and Brad just closed it. It's almost 9 o'clock. Oh my gosh, I'm having to scrape, scrape stuff.
Barnda, like they woke up even early to and my Aunt April she said like threw in and help and what's helping us. So the Barndo just got finished being built. So we have family there for Thanksgiving. And the good thing about the Barndo is that it's by this downtown area of Burnham and I think it's so cool.